Hi everyone, Dr. Saul here in Beverly Hills. Today we're going to have a little discussion between us about ratio and changing someone's body. I have some examples here. We're going to go over it and I can show you how your proportionality can totally change by having some lipo contouring. Let's take a look at our first patient. Here's our first patient. She's, she's in her late 20s, uh, no kids, uh, healthy, but she has some proportionality differences. You could see here, <laughs> oh, ready? Okay, so on this patient here, you could see how her, her triangle and how her proportions are. She's wide up top and narrow in her bottom. So you could see she has an inverted triangle. So her proportionality, she's wider up top. As she comes down, she gets narrow. And she, when she comes to the buttock, she's getting very super narrow. Let's look at her after lipo contouring and BBL. Look at her triangle. She's wider here. And as you go up, she has her triangle is inverted now. Look at the difference in the body shape just by lipo contouring and redistributing the fat. The fat was taken out here, here. You could see this area up here and here. You could see this was taken out, this was taken out, and reproportioned down to here to give, to give her a fuller, rounder buttock. So this is our first example. This is one of my favorite ones, actually, that I'm sharing with you is because it changed the whole dynamics of her body. Let's look at the next one. Okay, here's another patient, again, Look at the proportionality and the body change over time. First, the big first thing I see with her lipo contouring and stuff is the rolls are gone. There's no rolls on the after picture. Number two, the hip and the waist, different ratios. This is the waist. This is the hip. And look at the waist and hip here. You could see that the hip is wider here. This would be our hip, and this is our waist. Look at the difference. We like this ratio to be somewhere between 0 0.7, 0 0.6 to 0.7, okay? Uh, so here, it's more almost like 0.8 to 0.9. One being equal, you could see it's almost equal. But in this one, you could see the, north, the nice proportionality. The other thing you can see is the width here. Look at the width compared to after. It's much shorter. She looks smaller. The contouring of doing the lipo of the lateral chest wall, the back, and the flanks have given her a whole different proportionality. Then to make it even better is that her seed dips that's what we call these the c dip right there you could see they're filled in and they look more congruent with the rest of her so she has a nice flow coming in all the way and then coming out here it goes in it comes out it goes in it comes out then it becomes it when you're looking at something and there's a break to it it throws off the eye that's why this looks better it's because there's no disruption when you're looking at it. Let's look at our third one. <laughs> Here's our third picture. Uh, although she's in uh, clothing, but look at the difference in her clothing. Again, you can see where we've done on this one. I have it all marked up. This is her uh, day of procedure pictures. We did the flanks. We did the upper back, the lower back, and the fat we put in the buttock. But look at the difference. Number one, I, I can, even with the bra on, I could see how the contour was before. And look at how it is after it comes in and then comes out. Comes in and then comes out. The contour, that's why our eyes like to see smooth 
curvy lines, not breaks in, out, in, out wavy lines. Number two, I know you have to take my word for it, but you can see in her dress, her rolls are gone. Number three, her waist. Look at all this, all this, all this is gone. So that's why her waist looks so much smaller compared to this. Then for her buttock, her buttock, look at how the ratio, this one is even bigger on her waistline than her buttock. Right now, this would be more than one. This would be 1.1 to one ratio because the waist is longer than the hips. Here, you could see we've achieved again a 0.6 to 0.7 ratio because she's much smaller at the waist than the hips. That's what the problem is on this one is that her waist is bigger than her uh, her uh, hip distance. Here again, look at how nice her hip is and look at the roundness we've achieved and look at how small the waist is. So this is how important lipo contouring is. It's not just taking out fat in a certain area. So when you go to your doctor, I get patients that come and say, oh, I just want the rolls gone. Well, that's not going to work well because the body is a unit and you want the smoothness throughout. You don't want to be interrupted by just taking this out. It almost looks like someone took a bite out of you and you're missing a bot of area. You want smoothness, you want curves. Thank you for listening.